Welcome back. Now, normally at this stage in the show, we'd have NetCheck, where we get reaction to a particular issue from China's opinionated online community. But unfortunately, in the case of Xinjiang, that's proven impossible. And that's because since the riots in July, all internet connections to the outside world have been cut. And even in other parts of China, forums on sensitive issues like this are swiftly removed. So we'll move straight on to our blog of the day. Tom? Well, today's blog comes from an American, Joseph Torigian, blogging in Chinese and talking about the riots in Urumqi. After the unrest, the Chinese government immediately allowed foreign journalists to enter Urumqi. But although the government was more open to the world on this issue than it has been in the past, the blogger also reflects on China's global PR strategy when dealing with the riots. Firstly, he says the translations of Chinese political phrases aren't right. Some government statements make foreigners feel that the government is just promoting itself or propaganda, a word with very negative connotations in English. Secondly, he says there's no point in criticizing international media outlets for mistakes they made in their reports because they won't change the way they report on China anyway. The international media is a window where the world can find out more about China, he suggests. And he also says the government should keep a balance between explaining the truth and maintaining a good relationship with that media. Thirdly, in terms of the Xinjiang riots, Torgin says the Chinese government made a mistake. Foreign media reports on the issue focused on the social, political and economic routes, but the Chinese government didn't address these questions. Instead, he says it simply repeated that Xinjiang is part of China and also branded Rabia Khadir, whom China blamed for instigating the riots, a liar. Now, there have been some comments uh, relating to this blog online. Indeed. One person saying, the blogger's opinion is objective, but so many things happen every day in China, and the Chinese information department's task is so tough. This person says, they always adopt the same attitude, whatever the event, but I hope their attitude can be more flexible towards the international media. And a different and fairly succinct comment from uh, the second blogger who says, I feel that the writer is just trying to defend himself and other foreign media for always reporting on China with bias. And third, uh, thirdly, a comment from someone saying, I am from Arumchi. I agree with his opinion, the blogger's opinion. We all know the truth about the riots, but that doesn't mean people from other countries know about it. Well, do stay with us here on BON News. Coming up next, straight from the street.